Hey guys, Igor here. Decided to do a quick voiceover of the painting process. So I took a picture of my crab, uh, which I drew using, you know, a pen, piece of paper, and I imported that into the program. Uh, right after which, I dropped a layer on top and just filled in the crab into one solid color and uh, separated that from the background, which you see me working on a little bit right there. After that, going back to the crab, um, started adding some just very vibrant, very saturated blues and reds um, before touching up any sort of details and uh, figuring out the form. Uh, also decided to go with a really dark color for the eyes, but I wasn't feeling that later and you'll see me change it. Um, dropping another layer on top of uh, my background and changing it to uh, color, um, I was able to just drop some blues and oranges into it and um, combining it after that, you know, allows me to have same values but still have some color variation. Now you see me still figuring out what I'm putting around the crab and, um, you know, just very experimental. I don't, don't really have like a set plan at this point. I just want the crab to be the focus and I don't want the piece to be too dark. So, um, adding some highlights to the rocks, changing the background color of the water to a more sea green, uh, just uh, looks less deep and dead, and uh, testing one eye, um, you know, for a brighter color. Also going in and repainting the underbelly, again that was quite a bit dark. Just overall the piece, you know, I ended up drastically bringing the color up by the end of it, adding some highlights and changing the pupil size. It's very cartoony looking, but um, that's pretty much my style, so I wasn't trying to go all super realistic. I'm not really happy with how the legs are turning out, so I'm not really touching those yet. Um, I'll have to go back and fix those after. And added, uh, as you can see, I added a few particle effects to the background. Again, not really sure about it. Um, they're just placement stuff. Obviously, I'm going to, um, if I end up changing the background some more. I can always just drop them in real quick using like a very wide spray paint style brush. Um, you just saw me test out some colors for the for the foreground and the background and I went too light so I scratched that idea. But then I went in with a smudge tool and decided to blur everything that I don't want focused. So that was most of the background, a lot of the front foreground and uh, I didn't want to keep most of it blurry, so I just used a very basic brush tool and put some rocks up there and uh, sort of just blended it using that basic rough brush so that, again, it's not all smooth looking. Uh, you also see saw me delete the legs and, uh, you know, on a new layer, drop some new ones. I like this position much more. You know, the crab sits lower. He looks a lot more crabby, if that makes sense, you know, with the big pinchers in the front. Um, added little dimples to them, or whatever they are, the little ridges. I just felt like I didn't want to keep them, I didn't want to keep the claws super plain. Uh, little details like that really make the piece more, not really believable, but just more complete looking. Uh, you also see that the shell is now mostly white or pink. Um, and again, I'm going back and dropping in little particle effects, but I'm still not quite feeling the background. I feel like it's a little bit too circular looking. So you saw me just go in and change it to a more varied, like downwards light shining from the water thing. I'm not even sure how to explain it, but just basically less uniform looking. And I like it a lot more. And I also added some color to the very top, some light, um, lighter blue, as in that's, you know, the sun shining so that the water, the crab himself doesn't seem like he's too deep underwater. Um, still not feeling the coral on the side. And uh, I'm going to go in and touch that up in a little bit. And just doing some front um, adjusting of the dirt, you know, where the claws might be digging into. And adding some light color bouncing off of the claws to the underside of the crab and I'm pretty much done just uh, touched up the corals on the right a little bit 
uh, playing around with the underbelly again and trying to see if I can squeeze some more color out of it and recoloring the underbelly, um, adding some smoking looking effects and um, you know just basically making the whole piece look more watery. And that's about it. Thanks for checking it out guys. Uh, hopefully I'll do more in the future.